So this is where she's looking, this, this is where, that's where she's looking. Hopefully my Christmas lights aren't super distracting. Maybe I can set them to not twinkle. Okay, mm. I stood up too quickly, dizzy. I am ridiculously excited about this project. I actually am still struggling with how to describe it. Basically, I want to make an avant-garde crystal witch queen headdress and armor. Side note, I put that description into Canvas AI and now I really wish I made this. I've never made anything like this before, but I have been obsessed with headdresses for a long time. I love the headdresses by Malachi, formerly House of Malachi, especially this one on Anya Taylor-Joy. And another big inspiration is Agnieszka Osipa. I think her name is Polish and I know I butchered it, I'm sorry. Her work has been seen on Lady Gaga and Behemoth. So I had a few inspo picks going into this project, but in particular, I kind of wanted to mash up these two designs. I do not have much of a plan. I've got some EVA foam and some crystals, so let's see what we can do. This is my very aesthetic laundry. Here is what I've got so far. This is the idea. I'm currently thinking a crown of sorts, a connection down to the nose and then covering the mouth. I think some dangly things like some chains just embellish the absolute living it's really hard not to swear, to be honest. Just it gems all over here. I have never made a more useless thing. Oh, uh, have I? No, no, I haven't. <laughs> no, I'm so excited. Let's talk materials. Did you think that there was gonna be things here? Yeah, I am. Um, there's no way I'm gonna sit down in the same spot. Foam clay for shaping the crown, maybe. Armature wire, also maybe. Treasure Trove box. So I ordered this when I made my wedding dress and so I did the unboxing of it then. I just recorded most of the unboxing and didn't film it. The website I purchased it from is called Silk and Stitch and they sell couture fabrics left over from their previous bridal collections. I had bought the $99 Treasure Trove box which is supposed to have six to $700 worth of embellishments in it and I'm really now confirming that it was definitely worth it because I ended up cutting up this one which retails for $330. Honestly, I'm so tempted to buy another box of these if my fingers ever recover from this project. I also had beads left over from the last one that I chopped up as well as some extra packs that I had bought online. EVA foam. That's gonna be a whole thing, figuring out how to use that. Random things like chains. I thought about doing a dress with this. I don't know if it's apparent, but I didn't plan this video at all. That's where I'm at. I'm in a pile of mess and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Measuring tape probably would have been good. From like here to the top is to my knuckle. That's not gonna work. Oh, God, I swear to God, I have gotten up so many times. 10 inches. I know it's bad for me to say as an Australian, but sometimes inches are just easier. I haven't seen like even a single pattern piece for this, so I am not sure how I am meant to do it, but I think there should be like a dart there to create some shape. I feel like I should look up a picture on Pinterest. So attempt number one. We're gonna need so much more cardboard than that. I have a bad habit of making projects harder for myself by attempting to pattern make all of it instead of just ever buying a pattern. As an example, I really want to make overalls. So I was thinking maybe I'll make it by using tape to make an entire dungarees pattern from my existing ones, which by the way, would be incredibly difficult to do because is that a spider? It is, but it's tiny. Cause I don't have any instructions. So I won't know what order to do anything in. Like why don't I just make it easy for myself and buy a pattern? Money is one part. The rest of that is some kind of stubbornness. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, she's so pointy. She's the fancy bitch. I mean, it's not sitting exactly right, but that is fun. Okay, let's go, let's add more, more. Oh my God, am I doing it? Am I making shoulder armor? Pauldrons, I found out. Oh, I feel so fancy. I'll go into battle. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be party battle, which is what a party is for me. It's a Goddamn battle. After having some mild success with the first patterns, I suddenly decided I was ready for much more complicated ones. Oh, it's so much harder to join two separate pieces. How does this work? Do people have three arms who do this? This was feeling a bit like flying too close to the sun. I'd love to know if the audio picked that up. That was my neighbor sneezing. Come on, that's pretty cool. It's 2.30. It is time for a cookie and a cup of tea. But I'm having fun with that. Oh, look. What window is that? Oh, I left that door. <laughs> I couldn't 
figure out the layout of my house. Eventually. I think that we can start cutting this out of EVA foam and then just see what happens. Yay! I knew this would be fun. Told you. I told you. It's camera there, it's camera there. Punked. Oh, that's a really old reference, that's not funny. Having finished my questionable pattern pieces, I laid them out in the EVA foam and ruined a metallic sharpie trying to trace the pieces. I will say, it looked pretty satisfying with them all laid out like this. Day two. Ew, what is that? It's gluing time. I thought it was gluing time, but it turned out to be shaping the edges in emergency chats with my friend who was having a relationship crisis time instead. Oh, oh nope, okay. I have very little control over how much comes out of this. Oh, it's hot, it's hot. So the gluing went about as well as you would expect, and then I attempted to clean up the seams by using the foam clay, and it was largely ineffectual uh, and mostly just really messy. Gross. My back hurts, and I don't have a good reason for it. So, I lost track of time. I thought it was about midday and Alf seemed to want to go outside. So I was like, all right, we'll go outside for a pee break. But it turned out that he wanted to go for his afternoon walk because actually it was closer to 3.30. And I didn't bring sunglasses. I didn't bring a hat and I did not wear appropriate footwear. What are those? Socks and sandals, baby. And it was a big walk. We went to the park, it was a whole thing. And when I came back, I realized that actually Thomas isn't home right now and I still haven't made his Christmas present. So I'm gonna get started on that and we'll wait for the foam clay to dry and we will pick up with the pauldrons tomorrow. Look at my nose. I don't know why, but I get a red nose. I get a bunch of little pimples all the time. Sometimes it's like, because I've been focusing a lot and I, and I do this when I'm thinking, but like I haven't been thinking that much lately. So I don't know what it's about. So I spent the rest of the afternoon doing a subpar, but very heartfelt painting for Thomas. Day three. Yes, we are outdoors because I definitely need to sand these pauldrons. I don't know if I've given them enough time to dry. I'm going to say I definitely haven't, but we don't have time for that. So let's get started. Uh, this isn't working. It's not working. The sanding is just kind of pulling the stuff off in chunks. Let's just, let's just plaster dip them. Whatever. I'm doing my best, okay? I don't understand this stuff and I'm trying. So this is apparently what you're supposed to do in order to be able to paint it. I don't know. I've just seen other YouTubers do it. Ow! Beige canvas blockhead. It sure is. I am not paying $25. All right, let's see if they told the truth and if you can actually stick pins in it. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Does it look accurate? Do we look like twins? Hmm. It was at this point that I realized that I had no idea how I actually wanted to make the crown. So I spent most of the day trying and failing to solder a bunch of different wires together. And then Tom came home and had pats with Alf. I left them out in the sun and look what happened. They're melting. And some of the seams came apart. Oh no, oh no. Ah. We're learning. Several days later. Okay, it's been a couple of days. Merry Christmas. I thought that I could just work through Christmas. I don't know why I thought that. I had a lot of things I had to cook for all of the family events we had to go to. I actually ended up being sick on Christmas day. I basically sat on the couch for most of the day feeling sorry for myself, but also redesigning the crown. I have now taken the time to actually do the design properly. This is what I want it to look like. And I have realized that I should be trying to tape wire together because this doesn't need to be totally structural. I don't need to solder it. I don't know why I overcomplicate things like this, but we need to get into fixing those pauldron pieces that came apart in the sun, getting onto the structural part of the crown. I think I'm gonna try using some interfacing with some black fabric. I've got a plan now. Let's go make a crown. Let's make pauldrons and then make a crown. Let's put shorts on, make pauldrons, make a crown. Let's go. Oh no. Yes. I'm so happy I found you. Oh no. Also, it needs to have a point. Oh my God. I, I don't know about the drawing anything. I'm just ignoring it. What do we think? Imagining this has a point that comes down to here. Cause then the mask is going to connect to that. Yes. Our fridge has very loud tummy gurgles. This is really hard. 
Coat hangers are really difficult to bend. I would not recommend it. Also, keeping on trend, I mostly ignored that pattern I made. Oh my god, a semblance of progress. I tried twisting together armature wire to make it more sturdy, but it only marginally helped. I actually did try annealing the coat hanger to make it easier to work with, but my tiny blowtorch wasn't strong enough. Oh, did I make it too big? Yeah, definitely too big. It was so much work to get to this stage, and now that I'm looking at it, it's like, that feels like a very obvious thing to do. All right, let's go. Next, I traced the basic shape of the crown so I could cut out some black fabric and interfacing to cover the wire frame with. Before covering it though, I reinforced some of the spaces in the crown using a very fine brass wire to try to make it a bit more sturdy. As with what seems like everything in this project, it helped a little bit. I used ball clips to hold the fabric in place and then spent the evening and the next morning hand sewing that in place while binge watching something. Not sure what actually, I watched a lot of TV during this. I've done it again! This time it's rain, I left it out and I went to go get groceries. I can't be trusted. We've got the structure of the crown. Of course there's a picture frame behind me so you cannot see. There it is. Hello. It occurred to me this morning that um, I haven't needed the mannequin head. So I was all like, I need to have that so I can make headdresses. Nope, didn't need it. Next I need to do the mask part. I don't want to have to make a whole ton of it out of wire again. Uh, and I can't use EVA foam because I would like to be able to breathe through it. So we're going to cut up a hat. Nope, that was a stupid idea. Here's how that went. To be safe, I'm putting on glasses just in case it breaks the needle. It's fine. <laughs> New plan, because I hate working with that fabric, that hat thing. It's a no, it's just a no. Too difficult. So I have kind of reshaped this. I had a little look on Pinterest um, because obviously this is a medical mask and I don't like the shape of it. So uh, I have redone that with some potential darts where I might put them. So I'm gonna try sewing with this fabric, see how it works. If that works, then I'm going to do interfacing and maybe some horse hair to hold that in place, okay? I really wanted to get sewing the actual stuff on today and the pauldrons are still in pieces. Let's go. Wow, using the same fabric that I'd used on the crown. Who would have thought? I made a new pattern piece with alterations from that last one and deeming that one satisfactory enough, I cut out fusible interfacing and horsehair canvas, which is the tailoring fabric used to create nice shapes in lapels, among other things. And by the way, I just found out that it has actual horsehair in it. I thought it was just a name. If I'm honest, I didn't expect that to work. My cotton on order is here, which means I don't have to wear this ill-fitting tank top anymore or do the washing. Yay. Hell yeah. I really thought I ordered one white one. There it is. All right, getting changed. Okay, hear me out. Am I accidentally Kim Possible now? Dun, 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 dun. I think that's the sound, right? Oh wait, wait, did she have shorter sleeves than this? Kim Possible. Oh, it's a turtleneck, bummer. Anyway, okay, yeah, back to work, back to work. Let's go, stop posing. Yay! It's hand sewing time. I'm psyched. I'm so excited. I love hand sewing time. This time I'm going to really try to not dilly dally and like stress about where I'm sewing them. I'm not gonna pin them in place. I am just going to hope that the muse takes me. Could that aeroplane calm down? This was yet another really stupid idea. I guess I was finished anyway. All right, let's do it. It'd be really easy if I could just attach a bunch of these to this, but as you see, Mm, eh, it doesn't really work. I just think it's gonna look better if I usually saw them, which is going to take me ages. And I might regret saying it. Hell yeah. Let's see what we can do with this. By the way, I was having a lot of fun. This is what I look like when I'm having fun. What's really fun about this shot is that you can see just how much time passes by how dark it gets and yet how little progress I make overall. So this is where she's looking this, this is where, that's where she's looking. So this is how she's looking this morning. It's looking a little bit early Lady Gaga at the moment. And while that's, there's nothing wrong with that, it's just a little bit outdated. I was very into Lady Gaga when I was 20. And so for my 21st birthday, I thought I could pull off a blunt blonde bob with a fringe, yeah? And I did actually bedazzle the heck out of a pair of ankle boots to wear to my birthday. But that was House of Price, was it House of Price? And I have been ripping off other people's designs for a very long time. It was House of Price. Oh my God, these are so dated. It's really weird to look at. I will show you my past bedazzlements. Oh my God, I did it to a PS controller as well. Surely there isn't a photo of that. I stuck gems on everything. Anyway, I really need to fill this in to try and get it looking a little bit more high fashion and a little less 
2010. Let's get started. I have so much to do. I changed up my tactic here and started cutting up that large embellishment that we mentioned earlier. These are really well made with a lot of knots in the back, so you can usually cut up small sections without it all unraveling. Also, wow, these hand sewing projects have so many time lapses. Oh my gosh, my leg is numb. I've been sitting on it too long. But look at that. It's kind of like if Bane went to Drag Race. Why didn't I do this during lockdown when I needed to wear a mask everywhere? Anyway, we're getting there. But you know what else? It's a really nice day. So, well, I'll show you how nice a day it is. And then, come look, come look. Oh, lovely. Do you know what that means? So I have a feeling if I actually show you what I am drinking that uh, I might get into trouble with the YouTube people. But I'll tell you what, it's coffee flavored and it's delicious. It's Friday, it's fine. Hi, do you wanna go outside? A nice spot in the sun, you're gonna have a lie down? Yeah, that's nice, very nice in the sun. Kinda makes me wanna lie down in the sun. Not for long though, we got sewing to do. I have been staring at this thing all day while I've been working on it and I have finally figured out what it is I don't like about it. It's the black base. Like unless I cover up every bit of black that's on here, it's just going to look like all these things have been stuck on. And so where that leaves me is I kind of hate it. All right, I'm gonna add a few more little bits to this and then I will see you tomorrow. Uh. So I think the goal with this is no longer to make it good or a great achievement. It's to make it less crappy. I think that the trick with this is going to be going all in. There's no too much. I don't think there is any overshading the lip on this. This is just keep adding shit to it and then eventually it might look fashion. I know I said that I wasn't going to lay it out. This is actually really helpful to have done this. Why didn't I do this for the other one? So it was time for, you guessed it, more hand sewing. It's unclear how much time actually passed here but we're approaching New Year's by now so it's been a while. I haven't been putting this off, you've been putting it off. That's not fair. I have been putting it off. It's just, what do I do with this? We're only bedazzling this one and we're cheating. Let's go. And by cheating, I mean actually getting on the right track for once and using one of the larger embellishments whole. I really can't overstate how much I regret doing the mask first. This looks so much better. This is way closer to what I wanted. It's really humid today. So like, I, I don't know what to tell you. My hair doesn't like it. Oh man, the mask looks so bad next to this. So much better. Ugh. I'm gonna get to sewing this in. I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and I am going to rewatch Castle because for some reason that's what I'm doing at the moment. Okay, let's go. That's right, I was rewatching Castle. Although, can you really call it rewatching when I first saw it on presumably free to air TV, so I only saw sporadic episodes? Anyway, I'm having a good time with it. Nathan Fillion is so charming. Oh, sorry, back to it. Um, I covered the unbedazzled pauldron pieces in gauze fabric, uh, and it was a real improvement. And then I just hot glued all the pieces together. Pauldrons. We're choosing violence today. First thing I did when I got up was trim my bangs, and I did not do a good job. So, let's move on. I hate this. I love this. Do you see when they're next to each other, what I'm talking about? It's like, this is what you ordered, and then this is what arrived. Sad. Beautiful. So here's what we're doing. We are taking this apart. I'm unpicking a bunch of this and replacing the center with this. Let's get the unpicker. So yeah, I did that. Yay, perfectionism. I unpicked pretty much all of it and then redid it. Hello, it's the last day. I have all of the little pieces left to do that kind of bring everything together. Crown's gotta be attached to the mask. Uh, those have to somehow be on my head. I've gotta figure out how to attach the pauldron to the body and get the dress ready. Yay. So I finished the mask at about 10 o'clock last night and afterwards Tom was like, oh, that's night and day. That's such a difference from what it was before. Do you have a before photo? So I showed him a before photo and he was like, huh, yeah, that just actually doesn't look that bad. They kind of look the same. And I was like, I spent a whole day redoing the mask. Let's finish this. Also, Tom and I are going to Japan soon and I'm gonna get another Starbucks mug because I love buying mugs from wherever I go. Even though they're all Starbucks mugs, so they all say Seattle. To work. Luckily, I went through a very brief vegan leather crafting phase, and by brief I mean I bought tools and materials and never actually got around to making anything. So for the straps, I used this pineapple leather and my handy dandy riveting tools, plus of course hot glue. I then cut up and sewed on a felt backing for the crown, just to cover up the horsehair canvas and all my stitches. I really hope that this still fits me, if it barely fits her. Concerning. I hope this works. And by I hope this works, I mean I have no plan for what I am trying to do. 
So let's just start pinning and see what happens. I was hoping to make this short dress long, so I bought three meters of chiffon and I didn't want to cut it just for a temporary look. So I was attempting to just pin it in place and make that work. I had to change because it is so hot and it's gonna suck wearing this mask outdoors, uh, but that's what we're gonna do. So I will see you in the reveal. Subscribe! I can feel my nose dripping from the sweat. <laughs>